Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show how to use Google Form to set up Net Promoter Score survey very quickly and very easily and subsequently compute the Net Promoter Score using Excel. In a previous video, I explained the concept and approach behind NPS. NPS is a better way to assess customer satisfaction. It uses loyalty. We typically ask a question to our customers, whether our customers will be comfortable with recommending a particular company's products or services to their friends, family or colleagues. If they say yes, we categorize such customers as promoters. If they say no, we categorize such customers as detractors. This question is asked on a scale of 1 to 10. So those giving a rating of 9 or 10 are known as promoters and those giving a rating of 1 to 6 or 0 to 6 are known as detractors. In net promoter score computation, we don't consider the in-betweens, what are known as passives. That is who typically rate 7 or 8, right? So net promoter score is the difference between promoters and detractors. That is the number of customers who are promoters and the number of customers who are detractors. And the number is expressed in the form of percentage, okay? So net promoter score is a percentage, right? So now let's set up net promoter score using Google form and compute net promoter score. NPS can be used by large companies as well as small companies, right? Uh, however, multinational companies have taken the lead in implementing NPS in organizations because there are large MNCs that have implemented NPS even 10 years back, right? However, we have small and medium enterprises, single owner business and business enterprises that have not implemented NPS or have not even heard of NPS, right? So I want even small companies to implement NPS, right? I want individual business owners to implement NPS, right? I want consultants to implement NPS, right? So I'm demonstrating using Google Forms. So if you click this, google.com uh, google slash forms, right, slash about, it will take you to this page. And let's click go to forms, right? And uh, you should have signed into your Google account. See here, I've already signed into my Google account. Uh, I'm going to click this. So I, I will demonstrate how to create a form, right? So let's call this as, uh, hey, got it. So NPS survey, let's call this as NPS survey, right? We will start with the first question. Now let's click this and we'll give choose linear scale as the option 1 to 10 1 is least likely right and then most likely okay and we will make this as a required question and what else let's go to the next question our next question is please provide uh, indicate the reasons reason for your rating you can please provide the reason for your rating let's choose uh, multiple choice let's choose uh, option one is product quality let's choose product quality the next one is product functionality product functionality the next one is price. The next one is uh, ease of doing business. Uh, the last one is speed of resolution, right? So just two questions and we will also make this mandatory, right? So this is a multiple choice uh, option. You can also choose check boxes, right? When you want more than one option to be selected by the customer, you want to give the option to the customer, right? That is, I can choose product quality and product functionality, right? Or, uh, or I can choose all of them, right? So here I'm choosing multiple choice. That means customer can choose only one, right? 
and you can also add other entirely up to you. I am not adding it. I am, I am making this as required. That's all. Right. So if you see this, we are ready to send our survey out. Okay. So how will you send it? Click send. See it takes you to the form. You can add the email IDs of your customers and send or you can select this link uh, or you can choose this link. You can even shorten this URL. This is a big one, right? So let's shorten the URL. See, it's become, uh, uh, you know, it's become shortened now. So you can copy this and you can send it via uh, other social media uh, platforms like WhatsApp, right? So that's the advantage or, or Slack or whatever, right? So just one click send and the form is ready. Form is ready to be sent. Isn't this easy? And in this tab, I can see the responses, right? So I can see the responses. And we can find out, you know, who has provided this response also, right? So I can download this so that I can do further analysis. How will I do that? Let's click this, download responses. .csv is a type of Excel file, right? Let's give download. It's downloaded. I will open it. So this is my Excel form, right? Let's quickly find out. I have the time stamp also. Uh, let's select this and let's do a pivot table, right? New worksheet. Will you refer? Let's drag it to rows and then values instead of sum. Choose value settings. We want count, right? We don't want sum. So, one customer has given a rating of 1, two customers have given a rating of 2, two customers have given a rating of 6, two customers have given a rating of 7, six customers have given a rating of 9, five customers have given a rating of 10. That's all, right? So let's copy this. Uh, let's copy this. Let's copy this into an additional sheet. Okay. We will copy this as just values. We don't want the pivot table. Right. Let's remove this. So, that for our NPS score, these things are red. Right? Detractors. 9 and 10 is your promoters. Right? Isn't this dark red? Okay, we'll make this more colors. Let's choose. Okay. Now, 1, 2, 6, how many customers are there? 5 customers. So let's do a sum. Plus, plus. Five customers. Nine and ten. How many are there? Eleven customers are there. So NPS is how much? NPS is eleven divided by twenty minus. We'll put a bracket. Y divided by 20. It's 30 percent, 0.3. So the NPS for this survey is 30 percent. In this particular case, I did not get a rating of 5. I did not get a rating of 4. I did not get a rating of even 3, right? 3, 4, 5 I did not get. But you can get. So all you did is you downloaded the Google Sheet right? You downloaded that into Excel, created a pivot table using this particular question and now you copy pasted the pivot table into a separate worksheet, found out how many customers are there in 1 to 6, percentage detractors, how many customers are there in 9 and 10, promoters. So the difference between promoters and detractors is your NPS. 
Isn't this very easy? We just took about 5 minutes or so. Right? So I demonstrated this so that even small businesses, even businesses who are not that computer savvy, they can make use of uh, the options in Google form and uh, conduct NPS service. Do this survey, okay? Uh, do this every month as frequently as possible because it is important for organizations to know what percentage of customers will refer them to friends and family, right? Because loyalty directly impacts revenue and profitability, okay?